Right, so if you're anything like me, Cyclocross is boring me to death and it's time to watch some road racing. So this is a Bay Crits, this is stage two. We've got Cameron Ivory and Alex uh, and Simon Clark whacking off the front, one to go. There's no, not much else happens. Connor Sens and Jimmy Wienham off the front in the whole of the men's race. I've got women's race after this. Don't worry. Anyway, this course is like kind of a classic. You've probably seen some Maven videos about it, to be fair. Uh, basically, it's just like one climb uh, just before the finish, tight left-hander, and the rest of it is kind of like downhill. Uh, it makes it not super easy to get away, but to be fair, Connor Sens and Jimmy Wheeling did a big, big shift on the front. Um, Luke Platt's like leading out for Blake Quick, who is an outrageous rider for, uh, for Bike Exchange. You've also got some ARA boys who are like the local con team, like Craig, Craig Wiggins, who won in uh, Langkawi. So pretty decent riders all around, to be fair. And you can see here that like, they're just about to be swallowed up. So I'm glad. I've got some pretty nice helicopter footage. Is it drone footage? I'm not sure, but it looks pretty fit, I uh, have to say. Anyway, you can see ARA are sort of in like the blue kit. Uh, and then you've also got this like, composite team with Brenton Jones, who won the stage before, Luke Platt, Blake Quick, etc., etc. So they've got a pretty strong squad. So they're now turning on to the kind of main drag before the left hand. That is probably like maybe less than a kilometre to go. We'll get the, the motorbike footage and you'll get to see how quick they're going, but also kind of see how they need to play. I think realistically, you've got to be top two or three into this corner. It's a dead corner. Like it's really, really slow. So also gear choice is pretty important when you're uh, going into the corner. You can see pretty nice views all around. Uh, and then people are charging up on the left hand side of the road. And this is the thing is like when you're trying to lead it out, you really got to have um, a solid, solid pace. Otherwise, it's going to be tough. You can see there's battling with left and right. But just watch on the right hand side of the road. Um, the, for the green kit, the green kit, they do very, very well. The Grizzly is this Grizzly bloke on the right. He attacks into the corner. See, our ARA are leading out with Blake Quick, second wheel, and Brendan Jones on the inside. But he takes a wide line, almost gets chopped, but carries so much more speed into it. And he's straight on the wheel. So when Blake Quick starts to lead this out, he comes around. Sorry, Craig Wiggins leads it out, and Grizzly comes straight around him and takes the win. And to be honest, it was big moves because he almost got chopped, but the lad just took big risk in the corner. Um, but carried so much more speed than everyone else. Everyone else kind of went on the inside and lost speed. Like if you look at the yellow jersey, Brenton Jones, we're going to show it again. He goes on the inside, but just loses all his speed. And so it kind of doesn't really work out as well as possible. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll show the, the last corner again in just a minute. And you'll get to see what I mean. So it's pretty important just to watch like the outside riders um, and how they take the, the line. So you can see Grizzly here is attacking into the corner. Blake Quick's kind of boxed. Brenton Jones goes on the inside. You can see ARA pulling out to try and get Craig Wiggins to get the big W. Um, but he just slots straight onto his wheel, onto Craig Wiggins' wheel, and then that's it. Kind of would be nice to have a helicopter show, uh, footage there. He didn't show it, but even so, super big uh, result for Grizzly. Uh, anyway, right, now we're going to go on to... Sorry, his name's Frizzly, not Grizzly. Sorry about that. Uh, and anyway, now we're going to go into women's. So, again, some big attacks, early doors, uh, but nothing really stayed away. And so we're into the last lap, just like the men's. It's 1.8K, so it's like only two minutes of racing. You can see, again, we're going into the same sort of routine. Uh, one person off the front, everyone else is chasing. Again, kind of similar, mainly like Aussie Conti teams and a couple of like composite teams with World Tour riders like Amanda Spratt was there, um, as well as Georgia Baker, um, who both race for, well, they're called like a Lula Bike Exchange or something, but, you know, the Australian World Tour team, uh, they change names every year, but, you know, they are the same people. Again, it's kind of the same tactics. You've got to finish in, in like, come into that first or second wheel. Uh, the winner on stage one was Ruby Roseman Glanon, so she's in the yellow jersey. Um, and I guess she like pretty strong teams all round. Like it's obviously a smaller field than the men's, but it was still pretty controlled most of the time. There was some kind of, I guess the thing is, it's just so hard to get away on this course. Like if you watch it on this like left hand corner, it's just so quick, like a 60k an hour. Like it's kind of hard to actually get, get a point where it's really easy to get away. And then once you are away, like I thought once you're away, it'd be okay in the break. But I think the issue was, is just like, you've got strong firepower behind, you've got a lot of teams, like, cause it's mainly a team based thing, like a couple individuals, but you know, it's it's pretty easy to sort of draw them back. But at this point, I was like, fair play. I reckon they got this. Because, like, the, the gap going into the climb was large. But I guess spent all the biscuits early on and then trying to get this back, uh, like, on the climb. Obviously, if you're a chasing bunch, like, you just nuke it at 600 watts and, like, you'll get them back pretty quickly. So, in that sense, it was kind of a doomed breakaway. Um, and instead, when we get back to the to the motorbike footage, you really get to see the fight. And it's exactly the same as the men's. It's just the fight for the corner because as you've seen or already seen, it's just such a dead corner. And like if you're fourth wheel, like you're just so much like time further back. But you can see here, she's like really losing 
uh, losing the gas. I mean, it was, a, it was a brave attack. And I think, you know, you've got to go it all in and then the rest of the team can wait. So you can see Georgia Baker's um, second wheel here. And Ruby Roseman Granon is in is in third wheel. Our ARA are doing big licks to pull this back. And you can see Georgia Baker here attacks, but it's just too early. Like she's going now, and there's just no way you're going to be able to hold that all the way around the corner. So Ruby Roseman Granon is getting a perfect lead out. I guess uh, I guess they're trying to do that on purpose. I'm pretty sure they're on the team, same team. So in some ways, perfect lead out. Whack it around the corner, and then Ruby Roseman Granon just torches them all. And no one really comes close. Like no one steps off a wheel. Like it's literally like chow chow. Thanks for coming. Um, and yeah, pretty, pretty decent win. Like it looks close there, but when you actually look at it, didn't come past our wheel. So yeah, anyway, big result for them. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have some more uh, vids from Australia uh, in the future.